And then here's my uh, resonant dipole, a uh, fan dipole I'm calling it. I put a weather station on there to try to disguise it from the street. Kind of painted the mast brown, some spray paint I had. Homemade ballon, one to one. Uh, it's the Air Corps ballon, number 14 gauge, three windings of nine turns each on a three quarter inch PVC inside of that inch and a quarter, I think it is, PVC. Uh, so the 40 meters is the top element. Goes all the way out to the tree uh, there. And there's a little piece of string and insulator you probably don't see. Or not an insulator, but I hooked a piece of that mason line nylon string that goes there. The 20 meter one is directly below it. Let's see that 20 meter down. I don't quite have the angle symmetrical to the back side, but it's pretty close. And there's the, the little ring, the little eyelets, a piece of that mason line. It goes all the way down. It's a little bit lower on the, the tree. There's an eye hook. And the back side, I can't get to it from here, but you can see kind of the similar deal. Kind of angles down, I have the same affair in the, in the back in that tree up in there. So, so I have my uh, modified half bow tie up top with this little separator yoke because when I went to go erect it, uh, the wire keep getting twisted around that eye hook and I couldn't keep them separated. I was hoping that that wasn't so noticeable, but that's pretty noticeable. I spray painted it dark green. I thought I would have got that pulled back and tucked into the tree somewhere. I might be able to pull that back into the tree some. I don't, I want to keep the wires uh, separated from the vegetation. So when I go to run my linear, when I get a linear, if I get a linear, I don't catch the tree on fire or cause sparks or anything like that. So there we go.